a small place. Um, I teach here um, a little bit as, um, as I have, as I said, two students up in the um, The work that you see right now is the uh, work of uh, only the students. And of course, part of the students is my family. And I have me, I have Daniel is my son, Natalie is my daughter, and Isabel is another daughter who is studying with me. And I also have a son, Alex, and he is right there who is filming this today. So I would like to also basically explain the rubric here from Ashland, Oregon, uh, about seven months ago. So we pretty much free, I mean free, uh, new here. Well, we are free, <laughs> I should say. So we sort of uh, came here in search of a beautiful place and not only that it's, it is very free to live in, it's very beautiful and everybody who is here I know can tell about this as well. So, um, if you have any questions regarding TV or what we're about, I would be more than happy to explain what our philosophy is based on, what our teaching is based on, um, and it's not just one specific philosophy, but basically we believe that in order to produce art, we need to be trained, we need to be good, and art, and we believe, is, uh, has a function in society, and we believe that art is the soul of the culture, and, uh, and as I like to say that if, if we relate society to the body, and head is the government, the monetary system is uh, sort of blood circulation, and art is a, is a soul of that body. And without the soul, uh, it's not to function, but it, it's, it's worthless. It's in my so I believe that art, the whole, the whole meaning of art, the whole necessity of art is to uplift the human spirit, to bring it up, and to create something better, something healthier, something more beautiful. And again, beauty, beauty is, is what the art is, is what is the fish. So, um, like kids said, art is beauty and beauty is art. And so, I want to actually thank you all for coming here, for participating in our event. We didn't know how else to call it, so we call it an art event. Um, and Daniel is here to show the, the skills that could be attained. And um, this is the beginning of it. We still have probably another seven hours. How much time do we have? I think I'm just going to go to four. So it's going to be like a total of a two hour drawing, like one and a half hour drawing instead of. Uh, Instead of, three. Instead of a three-hour time, which, which is okay. I just want to basically show the approach. It's not about, you know, it's kind of, there is this kind of distracting here too to work and stuff, so it's not really just about the, you know, the drawing necessarily, it's just about the approach. And I think it's fun to watch the process and how it moves from just a couple of lines and how gradually you can see the character of the person. And, and then eventually you start getting to the form and the values and modeling that but um, by the way if you guys have any questions about anything feel free to ask it really it's totally okay even when I'm well maybe not when I'm drunk but it is a race it's it's totally fine and by the way I don't know if everybody's aware uh, my father's studio is up there and there it is open and then my studio is next door and that's open as well so if you want to go over there and just work out in both studios okay. do you always do you like to always work with my mom Oh yes, sir. There is no other way to learn. It's, well, in order to learn to draw a figure, you have yeah. to learn to draw from life. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just not enough, not enough skill. Not enough skill. Yeah. But I'm really amazed how quickly, in just half an hour or so, you captured that personality. Well, it's a skill. It's just like it's like with music and, and with any other thing. It's just a skill you train, you train, you train. That's how you get good at it. Yeah.